This video is titled Resources and goes along with the course Project Management for Technology, Chapter 6. I'm James Imreno, PhD from Shawnee State University, and I'll be taking you through this presentation. In this video, we'll discuss what are resources in relation to a project, what are allocated, overallocated, and benched resources, what are the three types of work that exist in the context of a project, and we'll talk about the resource assignment matrix and RACI chart, R-A-C-I chart, and we'll go through examples of them and show how to draw those resource allocation charts and diagrams. So the first thing we need to do is define what are resources. Resources are the man, the machine, the materials that we need to acquire, allocate, use to make our project actually happen. Remember, though, in a functional or matrix organization, you're going to have to share the man with their uh, functional, uh, with their functional jobs, with their functional managers. Um, also, remember that um, in a functional or matrix organization that the functional requirements of the day-to-day -day operation of the business may come in front of the project. And the other problem you may experience with, with resources in those organizations are that managers may give you their lower quality resources, may give you their not quite so best employees to uh, work on the project because they want to keep them for the operational work. So uh, remember that your resources are not just people. They're not just equipment. They're also materials, utilities, space, all of those kinds of things. Remember that resources are always finite. Um, there's only, there are only so many people. There's only so much equipment. There's only so much money. There are only so many resources. Everything is finite. We also want to make sure we use our resources finally, uh, wisely. We can't expect them to run at even 100% capacity. We can't expect a human being to work at 90% capacity for long term. A runner can't run all day long, eight hours a day. They've got to take a break. Um, remember that we may hire, reallocate, reschedule, reprioritize, or bring somebody from the bench. And we'll talk about what a benched resource is. Um, well, here we go. We can over allocate, we can under allocate. Under allocate means we're spending more money than we really need to because we're not using the, the resources we have. Over allocate, we just can't do that to a resource. We don't get quality work. And the last type of, of resource is a benched resource where we have a resource on, on, on payroll, a resource in, in warehouse and inventory, but it's sitting over to the side and we're not using it right. We know we'll use it someday soon, but we're not going to use it right now. Think about the, the, the reference really comes from baseball players because you've got your pitcher, but you've got your relief pitcher sitting on the bench waiting for the time that the pitcher is over-allocated, thrown too many balls, and needs a break. So the relief pitcher comes on up. Too little, too little resources cause schedules to slip because we don't have enough resources to, to do our job when we've got it scheduled to do. But too much resources, too many resources, too many bench resources especially, raise the cost tremendously for a project. In a project, there are really three types of work that happen within a project. There's the functional work, and that's the work that an employee does when they're not on the project. There's the project work that an employee does when they're working on the current project. And then there are inter-project works that are the dependencies between projects or resources needed by multiple projects. So you can see that then an employee's time is going to be spent on a whole lot more than just their functional work or more than just their project work. There's also always this inter-project work of, of allocating, of, of balancing resources, of uh, 
maybe uh, of someone being called up into another project on a temporary basis. So you always have to be sure to schedule and allocate all three types of these, these works when you're dealing with an employee. There's a common um, table, a common chart that we'll create or matrix called the Responsibility Assignment Matrix or RAM, R-A-M. What we do is we put the types of resources along the top, the types of resources, not the individual person, but the types of resources. And then we put the uh, items from the work breakdown structure down each row would be one of the work breakdown structure items. And what we do is we put the number of each of these resources needed to complete the work. So you can see here in my example, work breakdown structure 1.1.1, I need three painters and one plumber to make that work. Um, work breakdown structure 1.1.2, I need two carpenters and four electricians. Or maybe this is two hours of a carpenter and four hours of an electrician. But this is is dealing with the uh, the uh, alignment, assignment of, of who is needed for each work breakdown structure. If you maybe have a piece of equipment or need a couple of pieces of specialty equipment, you would put them in one of the columns and and include the the number you need in the responsibility assignment matrix. The RACI chart, the RACI stands for the four following words, responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed, um, is a chart that tells us who's responsible for an action, who needs to be, who actually does the work, who's accountable for the action, who approves the work, who's consulted for the action, has input on the work, and then who's informed about the work. And you can see that the columns here are the different people or the different organizations involved in your project, and the rows are the different types of work or the different jobs within. So you can see that, that for instance, for our servers, we need to allocate IP addresses. Well, you can see that Jill is responsible for doing the work. Billy, her manager, is uh, responsible and accountable for the work. And then Bob needs to be informed about the IP address once it's been allocated. You can see how, how this chart will help make sure you're communicating everything that's part of the project to all of your team members. This video goes along with Kib Heldman's CompTIA Project Plus Study Guide. Here's a reference to that book. And this concludes our, our video presentation on, on resources. I'd like to say thank you. Um, remember, this presentation is copyright 2020 by James M. Renault, Ph.D. You can contact me at jrenault at shawnee.edu. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share alike, 4.0 international license. And again, I'd like to say thank you for watching.